This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Yo, what up guys? Sammy Lee here from the Soul Brothers and today I just got the Jordan Proto React. I don't know why it's called the Proto. It's kind of an interesting name because Protro is Kobe's performance retro, but this is Proto. Uh, this was inspired by a spacesuit. And I guess it kind of does look like a spacesuit, especially from the upper. But this is more of Jordan brand making like a casual shoe for the spring and summer. That's what they said. Very excited for the React cushioning. It costs $150. And there are some different types of this shoe with, that are coming out, which kind of confuses me. So they have the Jordan Proto React Max 720, which is basically the same upper, I think. Maybe a little bit different. And you have the 720 uh, air unit underneath your foot. And then there's another one called the a Apex React. It's just the same shoe basically, but with a Jordan 1 flying it upper, which is interesting. I thought this shoe was supposed to have the Jordan 1 upper underneath it already, but I guess not. But anyways, let's get it start off with the traction. So the traction, it reminds me of Udon noodles. If you guys have ever tried Udon or Udon or whatever, the noodles, you know, the noodle soup that kind of tastes like miso soup. Like that's what it kind of reminds me of. Um, but yeah, so the, the off-white color part is the actual rubber. And then in the midfoot area where the uh, actual white part is, is actually React cushioning. And the, um, I talked to my, my guy from Nike and like the Epic Reacts, you know, it, how the uh, React midsole is exposed on the, the outsole. Uh, React is actually really durable. So that's why they, um, they put it on the bottom. And also, like, if I've noticed this about shoes, when, when the midsole or the cushioning is exposed on the outsole, it's actually a really nice cushion. It sticks really well. So uh, I feel like traction might be pretty good. Um, but I tried on my wood floors. It's kind of sliding. So I'll have to see, because uh, I'm going to do it just a casual review, plus a does it basketball in this shoe. Um, you do have a Jordan logo right here, which is red in the midfoot area. But that's the, the outsole, nothing really crazy about it. So moving on to the midsole, we have React cushioning, full length React actually. And it's not your fake, you know, React cushioning that we've been getting from Jordan brand. You know, kind of like in a super, I think it was a Superfly and like some other shoes. And those were just real stiff. This is actually really soft and it feels like the Epic React, you know, the, the, the cushion from there and it feels really nice it is pretty heavily caged which kind of sucks especially in the heel area so uh, you only have this much of the react that it, that kind of can compress but it feels pretty nice the insole is just a, I think a regular it, yeah it's basically a, a regular orsolite insole if you guys can see and then underneath that it's actually really interesting so it doesn't have a strobo board and it's it feels like it's the neoprene material which we'll get into and it kind of comes underneath and that's what they're using they, it does feel like it is slightly glued down though because obviously they need to glue down the upper to the midsole but it it, uh, it allows you to feel or like I can feel the react a little bit like pretty easily with just like you know squishing my finger into the the, the strobe board or lack thereof so the midsole, the cushion is actually pretty nice. The, you know, stepping comfort is good. I, I would have liked it to be less caged in the heel area so you can have a little bit more compression there, but it feels pretty nice so far. So uh, cushioning, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of pretty happy with. Uh, the materials, there is a mat uh, neoprene upper and it's pretty thick. It's a one booty upper that you just kind of slide your foot in, which is really hard to do. And sliding your foot into the shoe is actually pretty hard because it's because I think the opening is pretty damn small. Um, so yeah, it is kind of hard to just slide, slide the shoe on. But the material, the neoprene material is pretty, uh, pretty comfortable, like kind of stretchy, stretches over your foot. And of course you do have this neoprene material. It kind of reminds me of like a, like a jacket type, type of material. You know, and, and it also feels kind of like the EXPs or the Element 55 a little bit, but a little bit plasticier, plasticier than that. So, um, but it gets soft and or it's actually pretty soft and conforms to your foot pretty well and really thin as well, or I guess the shroud is. The neoprene material is more on the thick side. Um, here on in the tongue, you have a little bit of a metal clip so you can, I guess, keep the tongue in place. Also, the shroud material is a one booty upper and the lacing system is really weird so you have this you know kind of like string thing that comes up all the way so if, if you don't want to wear this shoe you can just you know untie the laces and then put the the, 
the laces through here if you want and then you can't put your foot in <laughs> so i don't know what the point of this is i guess it's more for just aesthetic purposes um but you do have laces there also another thing is there is no heel counter so you can literally just crush the shoe like this but you do have this little strap here right so you you put the shoe on and if, it, if you want a little bit tighter of a fit you can you know really crank this look look at that <laughs> you really crank this down and then uh, I guess it tightens a little bit on your, your Achilles or kind of, kind of like where your heel is. And also makes, makes your foot kind of go up in the shoe as well. So it does make the fit a little bit better and also improves the lockdown. So uh, I'm, obviously I'm going to do a dozen basketball in this shoe. And I wonder if this will be sufficient in lockdown and support, you know, because there is no heel counter or anything. It's all, you're getting all that support from the midsole for lateral containment. So I wonder if that'll be a good system. And if that is, then that's a good way to keep the, the, the weight down and, you know, also keep the shoe minimal while keeping support. So that's a kind of interesting little uh, lockdown system, which is pretty damn nice because this, this would not work if there was an internal, you know, TPU heel count because, you know, it wouldn't be able to, tighten over that so that's pretty interesting uh, moving on to the fit the fit is nice a uh, go true to size it is pretty damn narrow so watch out if you're a wide footer um, but for me it was slightly snug so uh, and I have already a, a narrow pretty narrow foot so there's that moving on to the weight the weight is 12.2 ounces and uh, that's actually pretty damn light because I thought it was gonna be a little bit heavier there are, it's there's two materials it's double layered and uh, it just seems like a pretty you know, heavy and bulky shoe, but like feeling it, it's actually pretty light for a casual shoe, um, especially comparing it to like Jordan, Jordans, like the Jordan 4s and stuff. Those are pretty heavy. Uh, moving on to the aesthetics. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm kind of indifferent right now. It's, it's really nothing like any Jordan I've ever seen, but it, it does look futuristic and uh, I do kind of like it so far and it looks a little bit better in person and on foot. Um, but I do like the Apex uh, React shoe that's coming out a little bit better. Just the, the shoe with the Jordan 1 flying it upper. But tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. But yeah, I am kind of happy that, you know, Jordan's kind of exploring into like making newer shoes. You know, uh, using better tech, you know, this React cushioning. So I am pretty excited at the direction and the, uh, the intent that Jordan had with making this shoe so full review will be coming soon i'm gonna be step stepping around uh all day in these 150 dollars if you guys want to cop we'll leave a link in the description box it is available now that's my first impressions on the jordan proto react thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next one peace